it affects everything. You, you don't have running water, or if you do have the running water, we still have a little bit of water, but you're afraid to drink the water because you didn't think light water would be out this long. Then you have, you have older senior citizens that are here that need air, need electricity, need water to take pills. Then you have just normal necessities. There's not breakfast in the morning because refrigeration. You don't have anything cold to feed them. Everything goes bad. So a normal day-to-day -day here would be like clockwork, which makes everything totally different. At night, it's pitch black over here. So then you have a security issue also with it being so dark over here, there are no lights and people are looting. So it's, it's a real big headache. If I would change it, I would have left. Well, I just had a guest that checked in and she said she had about four and a half feet in her, in her house. And after the water subsided, they kicked her door in and backed the truck in and stole everything out of her house. We haven't had any issues over here because we sit on the parking lot all night and just watch who comes in and who pulls out. But that's a big headache. You know, so I guess it's certain things you have to do for your hotel, but I won't do it again. So you lose a lot of money. You lose it between everything with the food cost and just normally what we would make, yeah, we're losing a lot of money. Not saying that we're still charging the people to stay here, but you can't charge them full price because they don't have all the necessities that they need. So, you know, you lose money, but in the end, I could be somewhere with AC. So my, my next choice is to leave.